Today I'm going to show you my copycat version of the Texas Roadhouse buns. These buns are so light, so fluffy. And of course, it has the uh, very uh, prominent sugar, cinnamon, and honey mixture on top. I hope you'll enjoy this. Let's get started. You need one tablespoon of instant dry yeast, one and one fourth cups of full cream milk, warm to 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, one third cup sugar, one fourth cup butter, one whole egg, one teaspoon salt, one half kilo all-purpose flour. For the cinnamon honey butter, you need one fourth cup of butter, one eighth cup of powdered sugar, one eighth cup of honey, one half teaspoon of cinnamon powder. I have here milk. The purpose of warming the milk is because, you know, milk contains a protein called whey and whey interferes with the activity or it slows down the activity of the yeast. So when we warm or when we heat the milk, what happens is the whey weakens. So when you add the, when you add the yeast, the yeast is not affected by the whey as much. All right. So that's the reason why we heat the milk. All right, then we have yeast. And then we have sugar. And we have uh, one egg. And then we have flour, all-purpose flour. And then salt. Remember, you don't add the salt directly to the yeast because it slows down the activity of the yeast. First, you mix it for one to two minutes to form the dough. It allows the liquid to pick up all of the flour. That once the dough is formed, we start counting six minutes. Okay? We start counting six minutes. After six minutes, we add in the butter and then we mix for another two minutes or until you get the window pane. All right, after two minutes, you pinch off a small portion. You put a little oil in your hands and you stretch the dough. If you can stretch the dough thinly without it breaking, then you have achieved the window pane. It means that you have kneaded the dough enough. All right. So let's take this out. Let's put it on a greased bowl here. I put a little oil on the bottom of the bowl. And then let's take this out. Form it into a smooth ball. And then brush the top with oil. And then we cover this with plastic wrap, or you can use uh, you can use a damp towel. Right, one hour, and then we'll bring this back. Okay. Here's our Texas Roadhouse buns. All right, after one hour, so let's deflate this. And then form this into a square or a rectangular shape because we are going to cut this into squares. I'm trying to make this a square so I don't waste any any portion of the dough, any part of the dough. I'm going to cut this into 30 pieces, 24 or 30 pieces. This is 2 inches uh, by 2. That's what I plan to do, but I will see if I can make 30. Okay. Then let's put them here. All right. And then we will let this rise for uh, 30 minutes to 45 minutes until it's double. And then we brush this with melted butter and bake. All right, I bring this back after 45 minutes or until it's double in size. We have the Texas Roadhouse. Instead of egg or milk, we brush this with melted butter. 
So what we will get is a really dark golden brown color. But of course you can opt to use uh, milk or egg. But this is how they do the original. Well, this is a copycat, no? Right, then we bake this 350 degrees for about uh, 15 minutes. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. Uh, topping for the roadhouse. So I have a butter, melted butter, honey, powdered sugar, and cinnamon. You can just use half the cinnamon. It depends if you want the flavor more intense, and then you can add all of the cinnamon. And then we're going to brush this on top of the buns. Uh, if you taste the buns, they're a bit, there's a bit of, uh, you can taste the saltiness, but that is to complement the glaze. But you can just put half a teaspoon salt if you like, uh, if you don't want to taste any saltiness. Once the glaze dries up, I will do another layer. This is, of course, not exactly the same as the Texas Roadhouse buns, but this is a copycat only. It's a bit similar, though not really the same. All right. And then we will allow this to dry up a little bit. And then we're ready to plate that. <laughs> 